hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video we're going to be focusing on a new autonomous agi system which is called teenage agi now this was actually developed by scene pixel which is someone who is i believe a freshman and they have been able to develop such a such system and basically what this artificial intelligence system is it's basically inspired from baby agi and if you do not know what that is I highly recommend that you check out my videos on baby AGI as I have a lot of different content as well as a lot of analysis as to how this application works. Now it's a basically a similar system to it and what Teenage AGI does is that it takes the concept of baby AGI's autonomous AI agents to the next level by incorporating additional features to it. And this is something that we're going to be looking at in today's video where first we're going to talk about a little bit about what the actual application is then we're going to talk about a little bit more as to how it operates and then we're also going to be comparing it to some of the features of baby agi and lastly i'll also show you how to actually install it on your local desktop so with that thought let's get right into the video if you guys haven't subscribed please do so turn on the notification bell as i'm going to be dropping a lot of new content right away in the ai world if there's something new that comes out i'm going to be the first one to post it so make sure that you stay tuned like this video as it'll definitely help the algorithm out and i would definitely appreciate it guys and comment down anything that you want to see in the future as i'll definitely try my best to make those videos for you guys and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos definitely do so guys as i have a lot of different content that will definitely help you guys out now with that thought let's get right into the video so let me give you a little breakdown as to what this system is now recently on github it's been actually getting a lot of different like likings as well as a lot of people looking into this so it might be something that might pop off in the recent weeks but one of the key features of teenage agi is that it's able to think before it actually speaks now the key feature about this is that baby agi is not actually able to do this at the current moment now this means that it basically has the ability to analyze like have an analysis of any information that it formulates before it actually outputs in a response so this makes whatever response to be very thoughtful and very well considered now this can be a very valuable trait for an ai system as it can also help to ensure that the interactions between the actual agent with the human are more productive and meaningful and there's no fluff to actually basically take the whole scenario out in a different direction now, another important feature about Teenage AGI is that it's able to use Pinecone's database storage, which is amazing because this allows the actual system to have a virtually infinite memory capability in its terms of its capacity. And it can store large amounts of data without actually running into limitations of traditional storage methods. Now, additionally, as we talked about in our previous videos, Pinecone is actually a highly efficient and scalable data source that has a lot of solutions in terms of ensuring that different systems can run smoothly and efficiently. Now, perhaps the most impressive thing that I was able to actually see from Teenage AGI is that it's able to actually retain data even after it has been shut down. So after you shut down the actual application, you're able to retain the data that is stored. Now, this is due to its use of persistent storage, which ensures that the storage as well as of the data is stored securely and it can be assessed again in the future. This makes it a significant advantage for this AI system as it can help ensure that the, it doesn't lose actually any important information or insights between the sessions that you actually had with this application. Now, in terms of how it actually works, well, the first steps, as they have talked about, is that AI is going to vectorize the whole query system. And basically what this means is that it's going to transform into a numerical representation that is basically easily assessed by the AI system. Now, this can queue up different storage in the pinecone vector. Now, a second thing as to how the second step of how it actually works is its memory search. The AI then searches for its memory to find relevant memories and past queries that are related to the current query. This basically allows the AI to leverage past experiences and knowledge to generate more informed responses. The third step is the decision making, which after finding the relevant memories from the second step of its memory search, it's able to formulate its queries 
by taking actions and taking the right steps to actually take that ac action. Now this steps basically involves analyzing the information gathered from the previous steps and generating a response that is thoughtful and well considered, which is something that baby AGI isn't basically able to do at this current step. Now the fourth step is its thought storage. This basically means that the thought generated by the AI in step three is then stored. Now this allows the AI to remember and build upon previous thought processes further refining its ability to generate thoughtful process in the future which is quite remarkable guys because you're basically generating data that will basically help you and efficiently produce better generative ideas in the future with different outputs now the fifth step is the output generation so based off the thought from the step three as well as the relevant memories from step two the ai system gen generates an output now this output can take many forms such as a text voice, visual display, depending on what the application of the AI or the objective is that you give it from the start. Now, obviously this is something that they're currently working on as seen as basically working with different people as well as different ideas to basically innovate this project. And lastly, the answer storage is the sixth step. And basically in this step, the current query as well as its answers are stored in the pinecorn vector database which i showed you over here and this is something that i'll also show you later on in the video and basically what this means is that it stores the actual information as well as the data that the ai retains from the previous steps and it basically uses this as leverage in the future interactions that a human or whatever agent has with this actual system and these are basically the overall steps as to how it works now you might be thinking what is the actual difference between teenage AGI and baby AGI as both artificial intelligence systems have been developed to simulate the same aspects as a human cognitive like mind would. Now, what is actually the difference? Because both are very similar. And this is when I talked about the ability to think before it speaks. And this is something that teenage AGI is able to do, whereas baby AGI isn't able to actually do so. This means that Teenage AGI is actually capable of analyzing information and generating a thoughtful response that is very well considered and with a lot of consideration between its history and data within the system. Whereas Baby AGI, on the other hand, like basically responds more impulsively without much forethought from its previous data sets. So this is something that is quite unique between actually Teenage AGI compared to Baby AGI. Now, I'm going to be moving on to the next step and actually showing you guys how to install it. And with that thought, let's get right into that. Firstly, you need to make sure you have Git, which is something that is able to clone and download repositories off of GitHub. So make sure you have this installed. Secondly, you want to have Python installed as this is to basically write the code as well as change certain things about the code and the system. And lastly, you need to install Visual Studio Code. This is optional as you can use your Windows or Microsoft command prompt that will actually like be your visual editor, not your visual, but your editor for your actual application. Now, obviously this it depends on the person as well as what you want to use it for. Personally, in my case, I like using Visual Studio Code because it's more applicable to anyone and it's easier to use. It's basically one of the best like visual as well as code editors out there so i highly recommend that you get all three of these uh, i mean the visual studio code but you need to get these two to actually start actually downloading it locally on your computer so make sure that you install it it's completely free and i'll get to you with the next step now i'll leave all the links down in the description below but what you want to do is copy the repository code and what you want to do is go on to your command prompt open that up you want to click git clone paste the link click enter now once you're able to do that you want to click on the next step which is you want to type in teenage cd space teenage stash agi and you want to click enter now that you're in the actual folder you want to do the requirements to install it onto your desktop by copying this code here paste it and now it's going to start installing it onto your actual desktop now once that is done i'll get right back to you guys once it's completed downloading, you want to open up Visual Studio Code, which is your editing software that you're going to be using to tweak the code. And you want to click on open folder, open the downloaded Teenage AGI folder that you just did. 
and once you're here you can trust the authors obviously do that at your own discretion now what you want to do is go on to env and you want to rename this folder take out the template from the title click that click save once you have renamed the .env file you want to go on to open ai api key settings on their website and you want to replace that with your key over here once you have done that you also want to import the pinecone api key which is completely free so definitely recommend you check it out obviously both of these have a free trial at the moment but you want to make sure that you pay for it as if you keep on using these applications it's going to be very beneficial for you in the future as if you're going to be constantly using such applications and systems it'll definitely be better if you actually have more tokens to use so that you don't actually go above the limits and that you don't have any problems when you're running such prompts with these actual applications and in terms of its environment you paste the environment from the api key over here and once you're done that you want to click save i'm going to get back to you guys with the next step and that is going on to pine on main.py and basically once you're here you're going to start tweaking around and start using the actual application and this is where you're going to be actually using to start formulating your responses by using the actual application here basically over here you can rename the agent name which you can input here and what you can also do is sorry you can name it over here and once you want to start interacting and start actually talking with the ai you just click play over here obviously you want to save all the files first before you actually click play and once you click play, you can start interacting with the agent. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because I didn't input my API keys. So definitely, that's how you can actually start running as well as playing with the actual AI system. And with that thought, that's basically it on how you can actually install it. And I hope you found today's video helpful, guys. Overall, Teenage AGI is a highly advanced AI system that is incorporating cutting edge features and capabilities. And I believe as the team actually starts working towards innovating and leveraging certain applications with future generative projects, I believe that the potential is very high up there. So definitely keep this project on your tab as it's going to be something that will definitely be out there in the future. So I hope you found this video very helpful, guys. Uh, if you did, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell, share it with your friends, family, whatever it is. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I definitely recommend that you do so. With that thought, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, fellas.